Okay, the probability of Dilys buying a bottle of water is independent of her buying an apple. The probability that Dilys buys an apple and a bottle of water is 0 0.18. Complete the tree, tree diagram below. Okay, so this tree diagram, to, we're going to get four marks just for completing it, right? So it's a lot of marks, it's not straightforward, but there's enough information there to work this out. So Dillis buys an apple is 0 0.6. Does not buy an apple, well if you think about it, 0 0.6, what's left over? For not buying an apple, it's got to add up to 1, so that means that's going to be 0 0.4. So that's easy enough, isn't it? Um, now, a bottle of water is completely independent to, to buying an apple. It's got nothing to do with it. So we need to work out what these are here. We don't really know. But what we do know is this situation here. Buys an apple and buys a bottle of water, 0 0.18. In other words, buys an apple, she'd go along this branch, and buys water, she'd go along this branch. Okay, so buys an apple, buys water. So this and this, of course, you multiply them, don't you? When you go along the branches, you multiply them. So 0 0.6 times this, whatever this is, this is something, question mark, will equal 0 0.18. So we know the answer to going along those two branches, 0 0.18. So you just got to think about what number would go there, okay? And it's not difficult, it's not going to be that difficult. Um, of course, this is, in the calculate, this is in the calculator paper, so you could just think of this now as, as um, straightforward algebra, because you times things to take it over and divide, okay? So use your calculator on that, okay, and it comes out to be 0 0.3, all right? So that's what it is there, 0 0.3. Of course, you don't need a calculator, you know, if this was in a non-calculator paper, you could just think, oh, what are times by 6 to get to 18, and 6 times 3, of course, yeah, 6 times 3. But of course, it would have to be 0 0.3 because you need two decimal places. You know, there's two decimals in the answer here, so you need two decimals here, so you'd have 0 0.6 times 0 0.3. So there's lots of ways to think of that through there. So buys a bottle of water, 0 0.3, it does not buy a bottle of water, then of course that's going to be 0 0.7. 0 0.3, uh, you repeat it here then, 0 0.7. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, so part B then says, find the probability that Dillis does not buy an apple and does not buy a bottle of water. So let's think about the branches she goes along. Does not buy an apple, so she goes along this branch does not buy a bottle of water, she goes along this branch. So those are the only routes you can go. So it would be 0 0.4 times 0 0.7. Again, use your calculator, calculate the paper. But 4 times 7 is 28. And of course, two decimal places anyway, it's 0 0.28. But please use a calculator, right? I'm not encouraging you to not use it. Use it just in case to make sure we don't make any mistakes. You're going to be confident then with your answer.